Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm back. Um, I'm here going to my second job. What we're gonna be showing, you, what I'm gonna be showing you today, is how to properly install a dishwasher. Because uh, basically, this second uh, call that I'm going to right now, um, they say that this washer was installed incorrectly. I don't know. I seriously don't know how do you install a dishwasher incorrectly clearly it's not that hard you just put power hook the hot water line call it a uh start the drain start the water uh the dishwasher in the in the, in the spot where it's gonna go call it a day so i really don't know how can you really uh install a water uh, dishwasher incorrectly um basically i should have done a video a couple days ago well yes yeah a couple days ago on how to install a tankless water heater i did the one and i should have done it but i was too busy and i was running around with dealing with this because it was a warranty uh replacement part so but anyways today is basically how to install a dishwasher uh y'all gonna learn because i'm gonna teach you so that's what's happening today um i see i'm still wondering how you install a dishwasher incorrectly um unless it unless it re reverse the polarity polarity on on the between the on the in the power which basically they just reverse polarity means basically you connect the neutral where the ground uh where the line goes and the power where the neutral goes basically that's uh reverse polarity so that's what we're dealing with today um my first morning call wasn't that hard i had to go to I had to drive about over an hour to go drop some generator keys and everything like that. But the second one is basically is having to figure out what's going on with the dishwasher. I've been here before. I've been to uh, I've been to this uh, house that I'm going to before. I did a quote for this lady. We're moving, basically moving a gas um, a gas a uh, gas pipe that was in, like in the middle of the room because they like doing like they renovated the house and everything like that. So when they took they moved the furnace and, and the water heater from where it was. They moved into like an, a separate, uh, fa um, basically mechanical room. So they left the gas pipe just hanging right there, right? Who does that? So anyways, so basically I quarter her to move in the gas pipe back and basically towards the wall, there's the two gas lines that come down for the fireplace and the one downstairs and one upstairs. So I told her that I was going to, um, Move that pipe that was right there all the way back and kind of like make a gas manifold. So basically you put a gas manifold is basically a bunch, like basically a bunch of different slots where the main gas goes in and then you basically jump out of to whatever you want. So basically that way she had extra space. Now when I go in there, I will show you what, the, well, basically what a gas manifold looks like. Um, also, I did a quote for fixing a bunch of electrical work. I'm going to check it out because she didn't take the quote, but... I'm gonna check out to see who who the per, the person that she hired actually did, but other than that, that's basically what I did today. Uh, what I'm gonna do today, uh, my next call is basically a water heater maintenance. So you 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 would probably see a I'm probably gonna blog about that also. So you will see how to do a water heater maintenance. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get to it. Let's do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in here. So. First to show you, basically, is the gas work that we did yesterday here. So, oh, the day before. So basically, we there was a gas pipe right here. You see that this gas pipe right here, basically, was straight in the middle of this room, like literally in the middle, like right there. Where you see it, just go all the way in the middle, right? So, moved it from here, straight back to the wall. We came down, and basically, uh, the water heater is right there, so we don't want to mess with the water. So that when they moved the water heater, water heater used to be right here, right in the middle of the room, like right here. So they moved the water heater from here, there, and instead of moving the whole gas, basically, they left the gas pipe right there, and just ran it that way. So what we did is basically moved it from here, straight back to the wall, made a manifold. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the manifold that we made. 
Uh, basically, we moved it from there all the way back to the wall. And as you can see, we rerouted everything because basically this pipe was connected right here. So this we just made a 90 straight down. They just have pipe hanging here and they branched off straight like that to the wall here, which is uh, dumb. So basically what we did, we took all the pipe up. You can see where we probably, we took it out because we put new pipe to open everything on there. So we took it out of there and this is, you see there's all new pipe right in there. So we ran it from here straight to the back to the wall. We made a 90 down because it was a T right here. So we tee off from here, basically straight down, made a 90, 90 T for the water heater and came down again. There's a, a main shut off right here for, uh, where the regulator, uh, gas regulator is to regulate the gas because this thing goes to, one goes up top for the upstairs fireplace. And then down here, the pipe goes to the fireplace right behind this wall. But other than that, basically that's what we did yesterday. Making it a little cleaner in here. Cause basically, <laughs> this is supposed to come right here, but they decided to put the uh, water filtration system back right here in this uh, little room. I would have put all of it in here and it would have been way better. They were, you didn't have to worry about it, but they didn't do that. Uh, which is something that I, I would have recommended way down here because basically, that was the plan because you see how they, they have put the pipe right there. They have uh, they were thinking about moving the water here and here, but they didn't do it. But whatever, because they thought it was too much work. I would have done it. Because they think that would have been a whole mechanical room back there. And I had to worry about that. But whatever. It is what it is. Um, basically, I'm going to take y'all upstairs now where I was working at. Oh, dude, this one, y'all. Since all this was teared down and everything, so they renovated all this, put new wood and everything like that. See the fireplace right there on the other side of the wall. So we'll take you upstairs now. Is he here working in the kitchen? I have to take my shoes off because you know. So basically, this is the dishwasher we're working on. And what is going on basically, there's nothing wrong, the polarity is good and everything like that. What's going on is that um Whoever did it and installed it was kind of like a dumb dumb. And instead of, um, oh, there's a pipe right here. Y'all see right here. There's a pipe right here, by, right behind there. Basically, that's behind this cover. That it comes straight up so it doesn't let the, basically, the washer move back or forth. So basically, when you put the dishwasher in, and it once, and you put, come in, because this is a hot water line right here, right behind here. And I'll show you right now. Check it out so y'all can see this. So, right here. So basically, the water, hot water line comes up, so it goes down. So basically, to adjust, you know, when they put the dishwasher in, basically they put this pipe up, slide the dishwasher up. So basically, what's going on when the door, when you open the door? You know, I see you. When you open the door, you sit in the hose. The hose is sitting a little higher. See, here's the hose. Basically, what I did, um, since it, this came with a cover, basically, normally the cover goes behind in front. So, what I did was I kind of shaped the, the lid of this, like where the pipe's gonna go. So, I cut it. And um, so that way, when I go in there, I can push this down so this can sit right behind this crack, right right here, and preventing that pipe from coming back up. Because I'm gonna put the screws in here for the screws for the little door and everything. So that's that way, when I put it down like that, because it's probably flexible, you can see there's a lot of play in there, so it means it comes up and down. See? So basically, if I push it down a little bit and I put the door on it, it's gonna be perfectly on there. You know what I mean? So, you know, it, it prevents it from like, that way we can have the, you know, you see, you, like, that way I put the little door down. So when that door comes open, that hose is not on the way. You know what I mean? Because what I would have done from the beginning before installing this dishwasher in there, I would have 90 it. I would have got like a char bike connector. You see how it has so much play? 
or you grab a 90 and come straight out. Then we have the little side right here. So you just hook it. You would just hook it right here on the side and holds whatever. That way you didn't have to worry about this. You know what I mean? So whoever is thought it was a really dumb dumb and you know didn't think about that. But whatever. Uh, you can see they it's probably some contractor company they hired or something like that that did everything. Just some dumb plumber. But that's what I would have done. Anyways, moving forward, uh, this is basically what I did. Um, shaped the little cap, the little door, the little box, the copper. Shaped it all like the pipe. Um, we're gonna move it down a little bit. See, has so much play in there, and it's not even it's not even handling. See, this is a lot of play in there. So I'm gonna come down, and we're gonna push it a little bit down, exactly where that little slot is, in that way the door doesn't hit it when it comes down. So all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Um, I'm gonna do that real quick. Y'all can watch me. The walking tools are the best. Just until they turn up. Just put it in there, they'll screw it all the way in. That way you have some play while we adjust the pipe. And then, what we gonna do now is push that pipe down into the slot like I told you. And I can see because it's in the bottom of the door, right? So basically when I push it down like that, I got it right there, right? As you can see, I'll show you. Look. This is well hidden in there. You don't even see the hose anymore. Put you down, you see it, like, you see it right there. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you? See it right there. It's right in there, you can probably see it. But pipe is down. The little slot is literally covering the pipe. So we're good to go. So basically, now we can open the door. The dishwasher door, we're no problem. All the way down, all the way up, all the way down, and no problem. So, I also have to make some made, made up brackets also because I swear people, like, if you guys saw the washer, this is basically just a service call just to make this washer, per, you know, good so you can basically use it for the door. So, um, I'm going to call her right now. I'm going to recommend, put a little bit of piece of wood in there. Ladies and gentlemen, man, for my service techs out there, plumbers, electricians, HVAC, do things proper way. Um, that way, you like the next person that comes after you doesn't have to do with your mess. Like that's what that's how I. If I'm gonna do something, plumbing, electrical, HVAC, I'm gonna do it properly. That way, if somebody they call somebody else after me, they don't have to. I'm not gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna be that kind of a messed up a hole to basically mess them up with this kind of thing. Like, just don't just throw something and then put it on and call it a day so you can get paid. Don't do it there properly. That way they keep calling you back. This is, we've been here about about four times already. It means that we're doing a good job. We do a good service, and she knows that. The only thing she didn't call us is for the electrical panel. I'll show you in a little bit what this guy did. Um, we're supposed to join two panels together. Uh, I basically charged it to fix, to, uh, there was one panel for the house and then one panel for the generator and everything like that. And supposedly it was enough to code and all this BS. And they wanted her to join two panel, both panels together, but she wanted us to also fix the, like the cluster mess that it was uh, up in the ceiling with coming all the wires all messed up and everything like that. But you can see, you can tell between you can see the quality and work between people, all right? You saw how I did it before, how when I had my wires coming down for, when I did the HVAC wire run, 
you can see how perfectly my just two wires came out there it, it was perfect when it was done um i'm gonna show you what this person did um basically that's it basically with the dishwasher but it's all good to go i can open and close it now i can uh, call her let her know there was a little uh, spot right there i'm gonna call her and let her know that she needs to put like a little cover in there because you know the spot is too it's too open because basically they made the countertops too uh too the dishwasher is too short and the wheels even though i keep raising them up it's not working because the legs on the uh, on the dishwasher are too short basically you can see there but even if you put the dishwasher up Basically, the cover that comes with this dishwasher is too small. So basically, you're still gonna have that gap under the floor. So you can really, you don't, you can't even see that unless you actually um, crouch. But basically, I'm gonna tell her that I'm gonna get a little cover right here. If, even if it's made out of wood, then I can just color it. But something that can basically cover up in there, a piece of uh, a white uh, cover, you can go in there. You just gotta measure it and get it. But basically. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna show you real quick what I mean. Like this house is really nice. It's a really nice house, but I'm gonna show you. What is supposed to? That's what happens when you buy, you contract cheap. Uh, when you go with the cheapest price, um, somebody you see the different in quality. Um, price does come with uh, quality type uh, type of thing. Even if it's you, even not us, we still do uh, things the proper way. Um, no matter what. Even if we charge you a cheap price, but you can see some people when they charge you cheap, super cheap, um, it comes with a price because um, cheap work, it's not good. Uh, basically, if somebody charge you a reasonable price and you think it's too expensive, and you find somebody cheaper. Um, thing is, 100%. I'm I'm guaranteeing you that the cheaper guy you go with is gonna do it real quick, uh, crappy work and everything like that because um, we don't charge expensive. I charge pretty good. Uh, I I do a pretty good good work i charge pretty cheap um not super cheap but a reasonable price for people to actually basically take it or some people think it's too expensive but a reasonable price that comes with a good quality uh because i'm gonna show you how this panel is. so this person installed a bigger panel okay so the panel used to be here uh, first of all when you take a panel off you want to clear this out you should have taken they should have taken this down because there's nothing on there right you want the board just sitting there um you see i would have taken all these screws out all this like all this mess i would have cleaned it up uh, i would have asked her if she wanted it there or not but you can tell she wouldn't want it there because she hasn't she doesn't come out here often so basically people just contractors and technicians just come in here and just do the work but most of the time i send her pictures every time i'm done but look what this person did so there was a panel here right it was for the generator so he was supposed to take it down and join it to another one, join two right so he's supposed to install a new gener uh new panel so um, so this guy, she, she, I'm pretty sure she told him that she needed, he needed to miss, fix all this mess. So basically look at all this mess right here, right? Look at this cluster mess up here. Ladies and gentlemen, electricians, if you see this and you replacing a panel, fix it. Um, even though you're not getting paid for it, if you want to do it and get paid for it, let her know. She will say yes, because that's where we, exactly what I uh, quoted her on. I quoted her on replacing the panel, basically joining both panels together with a new panel, and basically fixing that cluster for left. Uh, so, look what this guy did. Literally, he left it away like that. Look at this mess. I would have really made a little hole to see how they did up there, running straight through the studs. See, because all this wires go in there. You know, I would have taken all that or neatly do it. You see all this all this mess? I would have fixed all that. Literally, I would have fixed all this. Or you can see that some of those wires come straight. And literally, then I would have made 90 right here. Like, even if you do a giant hole, it would have been better than having this. Like, a big hole and then put all the wires straight through. Because it would have looked way better than having all this looking like this. You know what I mean? So, and if you can, basically, if you think the wires are too short or something like that, shift your box. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. Just speaking with my wife on the phone. Um, so basically, yeah, so when, when you see that type of thing, if you're an electrician or, anything, uh, or a plumber or an age right? when you see things that you can fix, if they look bad, just do it. It's about qual uh, quality. You know what I mean? Your quality of your work is what matters. It's called, it's being basically giving that extra, the extra service. It's what matters because customers like that and they call you back. So there's a little tip on basically how to keep your customers and how to keep them happy and going uh, basically above and beyond 
on what you're doing. So other than that, that concludes this blog. Uh, basically, I teach you how to face the dishwasher when you see problems like this. But other than that, man, installing a dishwasher is super easy. Like you can do this on your own. Basically, shut the power off on the dishwasher. Um, you know, turn the water off also. Just make sure it has a shut off. If it doesn't have a shut off, basically you're gonna have to shut the water, hot water in the water heater, basically your main shut off. That way you don't keep getting water. Um, also, but most of the time you should have a shut off for your dishwasher. Um, then basically you take it all out, unsplice it, pull the old dishwasher out, push the new one in, take the drain off also. Um, and basically just do the same thing um, for the, with the new one. You put it in, you know, run the drain, run the water up, Make sure you get a uh, hose and everything for your dishwasher. If you, uh, unless the, the old one those there still works, um, put the wire in. And if you, your dishwasher is the one that comes with a plug, you can hardwire by going under it and basically unsplicing the uh, the plug. The basically yeah, unsplicing the plug and basically hardwiring it into the dishwasher. Basically under under it, you should be able to see it. Um, other than that, it basically shouldn't take you more than probably in about an hour, hour and a half. If, Taking your time doing it properly to install your dishwasher. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this vlog again. Um, take care, stay healthy because this coronavirus things we were such making a big deal about. Stay healthy, you know, take your vitamins, you know, watch my other video with the little tips about the coronavirus. Um, I love y'all. Take it easy. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you like this video, share it, help your boy out. I, I do, you know. I do show love to my subscribers and, you know, my people. So I appreciate it. I'm hoping you like this video and hopefully this video is very helpful. So basically, take care, my people. Take it easy. Bye-bye.